up. Hello, John. I want to make sure I was recording. So I wanted to show you. This is uh, this is the sleeve sleeve cylinder that uh, had the damage uh, in it that you had found. It had a low uh, compression. Now down at the bottom, you'll see a little bit of a. I'll see if I can point at it right here. A little bit of change in texture and color down there. There's a shelf. Basically, you leave a shelf down there, and when the sleeve goes in, then it gets held captive between that shelf. You don't, you don't bore all the way through between that shelf and then the the head, which is over here. It's been in the dip tank, and that's why it's got that color. Now, uh, the, uh, the next step, of course. Now these are here's your hardened seats. So your exhaust valves have the hardened seats, and um, the uh, uh, they aren't necessary on the uh, intake valves because your fuel lubricates and cools the intake valves, but the uh, exhaust valves uh, have the have the seats. So uh, I don't know if we talked about that before. I think we did, but at any rate, then uh, the next step will be to number all these valves. They've been uh, the seats are cut in and uh, then ground, and then uh, we'll number all these and lapped, and we'll number all these valves, and then this. Uh, uh, this will go in the hot tank, and uh, and any metal that's remaining in it gets washed out. Anything that's remaining in it from the machining processes that we just went through gets pulled out. And then uh, also the surface, uh, basically the paint is uh, the paint prep is almost all done. We'll go over every surface with a uh, wire brush on a die grinder. We have several die grinders set up with their wire brushes on them, and we just switch die grinder depending on what it is that we're uh, area that we're detailing from a cut brush to a, a wheel and so on and so forth. You can see it's been it been detailed a number of times with different colors uh, that show up here. So uh, uh, anyhow, that's uh, and then of course then there was a second sleeve. Uh, what was the damage? I can't remember. We put the second. Oh yeah, pitted place. So it didn't have a big gouge out of it, but it had a pitted. It was badly pitted, so even uh, so we were concerned about that one. So we sleeved two cylinders. Uh, we were planning on one initially, but uh, we're going to do two. And also, this has to be honed, so uh, that's the other the other step. And the crank uh, was up on the shelf the other day, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah crank's right here. It's all ready to go. Uh, and uh, it's all... Uh, um, and we got the bearings. Uh, crank went uh, 20 thousandths over, and then all the rod bearings, we went 10 thousandths over on those. So cam was good. Uh, and so we don't do anything with that. Uh, oil pump ended up being good. Didn't do anything with that. So uh, anyway, just wanted to show you where we're at with the engine. Thank you, sir.